Hello, I am making video. Yes, that's what I am doing. Um, <laughs> uh, well, sorry that I haven't been making videos, kind of ran out of ideas and like motivation and my life is taken by D&D and I'm also working on something else that only one of you know about. Uh, and I personally want to work on that more than this because <laughs> yeah. Uh, so sorry about that. So I, I'm just going to just throw something out there. Uh, since D&D &D has consumed my life, I'm just going to talk about my D&D &D characters. I've played D&D &D for about a year now. Uh, aside from that year, before then I dabbled a bit with uh, the first character I'm going to talk about. And these are only characters I played as, not ones I just made, and this isn't all of them. Yeah. And the first one I'm going to talk about is Drake. The Silver Dragonborn Life Cleric. Um, he... He is something, to say the least. Uh, so, many problems here. First off, I am completely new to D&D, &D, and I'm not smart, and I uh, am playing a cleric. Word of advice for new players, don't play a cleric. Just don't. <laughs> if you're new to D&D, &D, play as anything but a cleric. <laughs> well, actually, I'd recommend you play as a martial class, but clerics are literally the worst for new players. Absolutely the worst. Um, for many reasons. Now, the reason I played a cleric is because I wanted to be a healer, because I'm used to being relegated to the healer thing in games, like in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, I'm used to playing as a sunflower and scientist. To heal people. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, and also, the Dragonborn race doesn't really complement the cleric, which, you know, considering I suck at being a cleric in general, having a stat boost would have helped. So yeah, that's, yeah, he's also completely nonsensical. He's a cleric of Bahumet, who's chaotic good, which is the complete opposite of Bahamut, aside from the good part, like Bahamut's very lawful, who randomly wants to kill people. And he, and he has a best friend who is literally an axolotl named Axie. Yeah, this is dumb. Let's move on. Just throw that. No one cares about you, Drake. Heck you. I think I was trying to play as like a imitation of a character from, like, Paladins, that Overwatch ripoff. Didn't work. Uh, next character is Plague, who I actually have art for. I suck at drawing and writing, so laugh at me now. Thank you. Thank you for laughing. Um, and he is the character I played as a year ago when I entered, uh, the D&D club. Um, personally, he's decent. He's decent. What he, um, he was a tight tiefling rogue with a whole Plague Doctor aesthetic, um, which, you know, I really like the Plague Doctor aesthetic, you know, I think that's really cool. Not the actual Plague Doctor, like the reinterpretations made over the years, because the actual Plague Doctor looks kind of stupid. Um, where I'd gone wrong with him is I made him just an edgelord, because that was cool, I guess. Um, if you... I, it, making edgelords are, it's fine. I have nothing against it. It's unlike being a cleric when you have no idea what D&D &D is. But, uh, I don't know. I just, like, play, like, I recommend for your first character is play a character you'd like to be around. Because that would be, because that would just be more fun, you know, for, uh, that's what I recommend. You can do whatever you want, of course, but that's what works for me. Uh, the character after that was, uh, Ost, who is a Furbolg Dream Druid, with the background of Sage, which is very odd now that I think about it. He has no reason to be a Sage, not really scholarly at all. Uh, he barely has any intelligence. Uh, basically, he is, in my opinion, my first successful character. Uh, basically, he's a pacifist. Which that was interesting to play as, trying to avoid combat encounters with spells. Now, of course, he'd fight if he'd had to, but yeah. And he was just in general nice. And with in a group with a bunch of, like, thieves. You know, it was just nice to have, a, like, 
a more grounded character. And also the thieves were like children. <laughs> so this is based, so he basically acted as like the adoptive father who's just like, whoa, be careful there. Stealing's bad. I want to make sure you don't get hurt. Yes. I don't remember his voice. I am just doing a voice. So yeah. Uh, nothing really wrong with him. Uh, the only thing I personally don't like about him is he's basically just the normal furbolg thing. You know, just big, nice druid man. You know, I could have done more with it. Uh, the next character I want to talk about is Rose. Uh, she is my second attempt at playing as a homebrew race. Uh, at the time, I was really into playing as homebrew races for some reason. Uh... And there's no problem with that, of course. Homebrew races are amazing, if you find the right ones. Or make them good. Uh, however, uh, personally, now, I don't, I'm more of a fan of playing, of seeing what I can do with what's already there. Uh, the only character idea I have that includes a homebrew race is a half-vampire. But, other than that, I don't think I'd ever really play as a homebrew race again, unless something really cool comes up. So, this was a Dryad Ranger. Um, she, uh... She was interesting. Uh, she, she had a lot of planning behind her. She had, like, this whole village of halflings she was raised with. She has this whole backstory where, like, a mentors of her were killed. Or work was killed. Or something. And the other Dryads kind of mocked her for not, like, kidnapping people and, uh, doing things to them, like normal dryads do. Um, but other than that, she was basically just a typical ranger. So yeah, not really much to say there. Uh, that will be it for all of my physical characters. There are two more, which is Vero and Charles. Or, um, however, those I made as a DM uh, to be enemies. Uh, Charles was, like, the main villain in a campaign, and Vero was, like, a, a mini-boss. So, yeah. Uh, I... The next characters I'm going to talk about use the app Reroll, which is a really nice app that, like, lets you make characters easy and stuff. Uh, I have two characters here. One is Brock Silverthread. Uh, he's pretty fun. Uh, I played him once, but he... I made it, I, like, I came up with the idea for a long time. He's this minotaur who was raised by gnomes and kind of took their culture and their religion and all that. And he's just, like, a jolly nice guy who's really bad in social situations. Like, really bad in social situations. Negative one to charisma. So he's, like, this big social, socially awkward lug. Um, I, I kind of, like, he's, like, very logical and... Like, and by the way, this is, like, the complete opposite of the next character I'm going to talk about, which is really interesting. But he's almost completely logical, and that's why he doesn't really do well with people. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, there isn't much to say about, um, aside from him being a Minotaur Artificer, which is a pretty interesting class race combo. Uh, the last character I'm going to talk about is the character I'm currently playing as, in a campaign... Uh, that character is Maria, or Unit 2345. Um, so, Maria and I got into our voice. Heck, guess I'm gonna do the rest of this in our voice. Uh, Maria is a Warforged Grave Cleric, uh, who was made by these dwarves to be just a soldier, but she ran away one day and became a cleric, and then she ran away from the church because, well, her best, well, not really her friend, but more of, like, her, her guardian figure died, and now she's kind of looking for friends, and she found friends, and now her friends are trying to teach her how to be independent instead of just taking orders, so that's very interesting. Uh, she, in general, is just this really sweet and mostly emotional character, like, basically the opposite of Brock. Uh, she is, a. Uh... she, my hecking words... She, uh, she, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, she's really fun to play as and just really entertaining. Uh, I'm in a group with mostly new people, so, like, it's really interesting how, like, Maria is, like, Maria's not smart. 
So it's really funny, like, Maria asking, uh, what's dancing? And then when somebody has a question, they ask me, like, a D&D &D rule question. <laughs> and I'm just, I don't know, I just found that funny. Uh, but w which is fine, of course, because, you know, they, I'm, I'm the, like, the one in the group who knows, like, all the rules, so they're gonna ask me things. So yeah, those are all my D&D characters. This video lasted way too long. <sighs> Sorry.